She's in a fucking cargo container in space. Is this Eric's corner? Do you work for him? I just need you to give him a message. Tell him Amos Burden wants to talk. Hey man, why don't you go fuck yourself? Please stop hitting me. I understand you're just doing your job. But I need a friend who will take a message to Eric from me. Mm. Do you want to be my friend? Ooh. Yeah. Eric's gonna kill you. I thought you and I were friends. <laughs> the blood you found was definitely hers. What about the hotel's cameras? Someone deleted the footage. So it was someone inside station security? I'm looking into that. I've issued a temporary lock on all the docks. I'm gonna keep digging on this end and... She said someone was going after the protomolecule. She had proof, and then minutes later, she's grabbed. That can't be a coincidence. My people will find her. Your people are a part of this. She's still on this station. Somewhere. Oh my god, she has been taken. Shit. Sorry, Monica. But you are a bitch. Oh god, this is a fucking Judy all over again. Jesus. Come on. We can talk! You wanna talk? Can I see this fucking status of the asteroid tonight, please? It's gonna happen in episode bloody three, isn't it? I just know it. Sir, you described the ring space as an asymmetric tactical choke point. The gates each allow equal access into and out of a single system, and so each of them individually represents a symmetrical choke point. You paid attention in your freshman year. Bravo. The ring space they share, on the other hand, acts that way for all the systems. This allows a much smaller force to hold all the rings simultaneously and thus asymmetrically exert power. Jesus Christ. But I will leave you with this. Plan and prepare for every possibility and you will never act. It is nobler to have courage as we stumble into half the things we fear than to analyze every possible obstacle and begin nothing. Yeah. What did she just say? Honey, what did she just say? Great things are achieved by embracing great dangers. The tactics of the battlefield have changed with the invention of the stirrup, the machine gun, the airplane, the Epstein drive. And now, again, with the opening of the ring gates. Every new invention or discovery alters the strategic and tactical landscape. And I hope we have given each of you the insights to carry the dream of Mars from being a planet circling a lonely single sun to a vision of humanity that can encompass a thousand stars. Wow. Thank you all. He's a dangerously good orator. Uh, I saw you were uh, talking about the ring gates. I was out there. It'd be an mm. honor to buy you a coffee. I can give you my first hand account. You pilot a stolen Martian ship or an Earther captain. I don't think we have much to say to each other. Ouch. He also doesn't like being upstaged. I don't see how I could have upstaged him. Oh. Um. Everyone in this room would disagree. Wow. It's an honor to meet you, Senior Chief. Lieutenant Babbage, if you have an opening in your coffee schedule, maybe I could take you up on it? I mean, if that's not... Duty calls. Wow. Okay. Maybe it's her. <laughs> Find out why he's here. Already on it? Oh, this poor kid is getting six shades of shit kicked out of him. Take a gun out of his hand. Exit, come with me. Is that him he's seeing? Is it his past? Oh, yes! UN Sentinel Satellite Asteroid Spotter. Shit! Oh, because they're stealth, aren't they? Mother, 
Ashanti. Oh, wow. Father misses you. I know he won't say it, but he does. If you went to him, you could patch things up. What I'm doing here is still important. Arjun understands that. Well, maybe he understands that you would rather do anything than admit this part of your life is done. I don't think he's done. I would like to discuss the Hesami, the science ship that was attacked. Mm. I have information from reliable, confidential sources that Belters are buying Martian military supplies on the market. I am aware of those reports. If the buyer is Marco Inaros. Admiral Delgado, you're familiar with those reports? Was it in Inaros' ship? 50-50. Higher than that? Not much. Christian, you're on Luna to do a job. It isn't this. If you'd prefer not to be involved in these discussions, you're more than welcome to submit your thoughts in writing. Understood. War. Good. Now, let's get back to work. Fuck's sake. It's gonna get ugly. It's already ugly. You know what I mean. You could lose control of the station. I already lost control. I'm trying to get it back. Guys. That's not the way to do Guys. it. Even if I could find her, I can't track down who took her and run this at the very same time. Guys! Shh. What'd you do? There's a button I pushed it. Jesus Christ. That's really how you go through life, isn't it? <laughs> Look, there's a signal coming in. Monica? Monica, can you hear me? She can't. She's recording but can't receive. Right, because of her eyes. the hell is she? Could be a cargo hold. Or a shipping container. Go, Monica. Only two levels good, okay. What the fuck is all this? Yes! No! No! Yeah! Fuck it now! That could be fucking space out there, Monica! is living large. Amos Burton wants to talk. That's weird, right? Everyone knows Amos Burton's been dead for, what, a couple decades? Around here, there's only one Amos Burton. What the fuck are you doing, Timmy? Ooh. Lydia died. That's not an answer. We had a deal. I'm gonna need to change that deal. Fuck you. You killed Burton for me instead of killing me for him. You got his name 
and a way off the planet. I made sure Lydia was taken care of her whole life. Now she's gone. You think you can come back? I'm not back. He's got a guy. He loved her, and as long as he's here, a part of her is too. The husband? He keeps the house. And once he's died of natural causes, you can do whatever you want. But Lydia would not want him sleeping in an alley, so I don't either. Oh, well, shit! You should have just said so. I'm not here to take anything that belongs to you. All this is really about the house. It's about Charles. All right. Fine. Good. <laughs> Do you remember when we were just street trash? Sitting on the docks, watching the shuttles leave, wishing we were on them? I'll never forget that. Burton's fake ID won't hold up if you get arrested down here. It'll lead back to me. I've got a lot to lose. Shit. I love you, and I miss you, I do. But show your face in my city again, and I'm putting you down. Shit. It's good seeing you again, Eric. Seriously? Come on. We stood a chance. Shocking. After the kindness you showed her when your positions were reversed. <laughs> Why would Marco Inaros do that? Venus is a long way to go for a target like that. Maybe something to do with the mission the Asami was on. That would be the place to start. I know what you're doing. Is it working? What you did today was hard. When you're hurt, Hurting others is easy. It takes strength to choose not to. Maybe you and I can imagine a version of me that is good and kind and wise. I'll pretend to be her. You can pretend to love me enough to listen. Maybe that's enough for people like us. Chrissy, I'm gonna need a favor. I'm getting ready to go back to the ship and I'm not coming back to Earth ever. But there's someone that I should see first. And I'm gonna wow. need your help arranging it. Okay. I just keep thinking this is all gonna be destroyed, isn't it? to go and buy in like five minutes i feel like i'm watching one episode over in several sittings because it's like every, it's over in a blink of an eye <sighs> a few moments later okay not a massive amount to say to be honest in the wake of that because this is it just this is feel like the teeing up i feel like maybe next episode we're gonna get some shit going down but we've got at least some progress with um, Bobby and Alex kind of making up. She's brought Alex into her plan. So um, I can't, I've forgotten the name of the dude, but he's the actor I know really well. He was in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and he was in um, White Collar. He was giving a brilliant speech on Mars um, and they're very iffy about Alex. So I'm, I'm keen to kind of see, are they part of the problem? 
or are they potentially friends that we're going to make along the way? Not clear, but I thought he really was an excellent speaker. He, he basically had me wanting to sign up for Mars. <laughs> And that, that new con conception of Mars is rather than this planet, the single planet that they're going to terraform, Mars is an idea. So a nation of people that maybe could cross multiple planets, multiple solar systems. Very interesting. That's really cool. We've got Vassarala working with De Delgado now um, to sort of get their way around Nancy Gao and figure out um, what happened to the science ship and why it was attacked when it was attacked. So they're getting closer. They are getting closer to, to the source of what's going on. Avasarelli is absolutely on the money to, to be suspicious about this. And I suspect there are going to be major consequences for Nancy Gao after this. If she survives, we'll see. So that's them. And then obviously on Earth, we've got Amos, who was sort of the, the, the centre of this um episode and i loved the way that they created that backstory for him um so efficiently because we haven't actually had much time but yet we feel i feel like we've actually got a whole lot of alex's world in the sense that he was you know began as essentially a, a human trafficked really he's forced into prostitution through birth literally born into it um, and then when he aged out of that, um, he was able to, to work as muscle. But Lydia's um, role, I guess, was to save some of his humanity so that he didn't just completely become muscle. Um, which is obviously ironic because we, we know she was successful because that dormant humanity in him that she just kept alive... Um, got fully kind of resuscitated over the previous seasons as we've seen Amos um, work through his trauma and begin to bring down his barriers and to care for people and to think outside of utility in terms of, of his relationships which is really incredible um, to the point that Eric who was like a peer of his like a brother is actually quite surprised that this guy that he's he's seen before him but he's been really clear i love you brother but you show up here again you're dead because basically the amos burton id is only going to hold up to get him off planet if he's arrested it's all going to come down and i guess then eric's affected and god knows who else so that's a bit of a pickle and it was really moving to see him that conversation with timothy um early amos timothy and lydia by the water um, I thought that was absolutely beautiful and it kind of goes to what he said about she didn't save me it wasn't like she ran in and you know took me under her wing and everything was perfect she was also a deeply traumatised and broken person but she gave him an opportunity to connect and to conceive of being a different person and sometimes that's enough so that was stunning I love that um, we've also got the situation with the protein molecule. Monica gets kidnapped um, after trying to relay further messages to Holden, which means I'm guessing who, if still, I never fully trust Monica. I do like her, but I never fully trust her. Plus, obviously, she could still be pissed at Holden. So something's going down. Either this is a trap to, to basically tease out um, Fred Johnson and Holden and, and that sort of thing, or it's legit. But either way, I think the people who were, who did what they did to her, I don't think they just left her there just to kill her. I think this is this is a bait and switch kind of a situation. I, um, I'm just waiting to, for the other shoe to drop. So we'll see what happens there. But just the whole thing is very suspicious. Like, why was she taken? Hmm. I don't know. But we'll see. So I've got some big question marks about that. The legitimacy of the kidnap. The purpose of the kidnap. Who's behind it? I'm, I, I just, I feel there's something with that storyline. Like, I'm going to get slapped in the face. Feels like one of those storylines. Um, we had nothing from Naomi. 
this episode. We did, however, re-establish our connection with Kamina Drummer, which I am over the moon about because I genuinely missed her last episode, which kind of tells me she's definitely one of my favourite characters now. Um, as if, honestly, anyone watching my reactions who was in any way unclear about that has not been paying attention. She's now running her own ship. She's like basically establishing her, establishing herself as kind of queen of the queen of the pirates. Um, you know, ten percent for anyone who wants to operate in the territory she gets, so she doesn't have to run missions herself. Um, but she keeps things organized. You know, stops infighting and all that sort of stuff, and also brings some order to it. So she said nobody gets killed unless they have to be. So. Okay, that's that's a pretty Kamina sort of thing to do. Um, but she's also on the lookout for um, Ashford's ship. Um, obviously, the last we saw of Ashford, he was going out in airlock. So, she's found it. And she looked pretty emotional. It looked a little bit like she had a girlfriend as well on that ship, which I'm quite interested about. But I can't lie, when I saw the thing go off, I actually thought it was going to be Naomi's ship that she was tracking to sort of try and keep an eye on.